Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com Bringing you another video today and this is a remake of an old one and uh, well not really that old, it's in a year or two old but um, it's a great pattern, it's just a little variation on it and uh, actually it's a variation because I got lazy uh, This is the Pocket Picker Pertagon we're going to call it and uh, it's a pocket picker, except instead of tying a, a dubbing collar, I'm just putting a little bit of Sally Hansen or UV glue, whatever you have, to make a little wing wing case on the back like a Pertagon. And uh, it's been working real well for me. I've been catching a ton of fish with clients on it and myself. Uh, doing a lot of dry dropper, putting this underneath the caddis, tan caddis. Um... This is a great sulfur imitation. The sulfurs are going to be coming up. I'm going to try to get a sulfur video or two out here soon. So definitely have this one in your box for sulfurs. And uh, right now in my area, crane flies are coming off. So that means sulfurs aren't too far around the corner here. And I kind of think that's why this one's working. Because the sulfurs are, or sorry, the crane flies are a real light color, just like a sulfur. And... Uh, it's catching their eyes for it. So I think that's why it's working because the crane flies are coming off with the caddises. And I've been doing well. So give it a try. Here you're going to see it in the vise and then the material is to tie it. Okay, here we have the fly in the vise, and you see, pretty simple one, let's get into tying it. For a hook, we're using our Hulsinger's Fly Shop jig hooks. Um, I'm tying this for video purpose on a 16, but I'm fishing it mainly on an 18. And the bead I'm using is, on the 18 I'm using a 2.4, on the 16s I'm using a 2.8. And I'll be honest, I've been using... Um, silver on this and I like the silver but I didn't have any here at my studio so I just went with black nickel what I'm going to do is start out with some fire orange thread put a little dam in there behind that bead to hold it in place and then I'm going to put the tail on for the tail I'm using some cocktail on um, whatever color that you have I have medium pardo so that's what I use but don't be afraid to use another color, it's not anything important. For the tail, I'm going to tie it the length of the hook shank there. So we're just going to set that on top, and I'm going to wrap it back towards the bend. Now as I get back here towards the bend, I sometimes will throw one wrap underneath it to pull it up a little bit. I like doing that. And then we're going to trim this off. Now. We're going to whip finish here real quick. Just a small one. And then I'm going to put some watery olive. This is 140 denier, but um, you 70 if you have it. We have 140 in the shop. It's hard to get those 70 right now. And so I'm just going to start that on top of that orange thread there. And next thing I'm going to do is add the ribbing. For a ribbing, I'm using small um, Sculpin Olive Ultra Wire. I'm just going to wrap that right back there and leave just a little or orange tag. And then I'm going to cover this up with thread. And I'm going to make about two layers, just enough to get the watery olive covering up the orange. And then we're going to rib this up. Just nice even wraps until I get it up there to the bead. It's only going to get you about three wraps. And tie it off. Or twist it off, I mean. And then we're going to tie off our thread. Now you're going to see when you whip finish, you're going to be a little bit darker, or actually lighter, where your whip finish is there compared to back in here because you're getting a little bit of the orange showing through. No big deal. Last thing, take some Sally Hansen or whatever, black nail polish or some black UV glue, whatever. Put a little wing case up here. The original pattern, the way I tied this before, uses some dubbing right there. Now, dubbing's great. 
but I can hit this little wing case on there a lot quicker. I like using the UV glue and just adding that nice little wing case on top and I have been catching a ton of fish on it just doing it that way. So give it a try is like a Pertagon style fly. You're going to like it and you're going to catch fish on it. Alright guys, I hope you like this video. I try to keep them simple for you and I try to make them fish catching flies. Um, you know, I've been fishing this one hard. Between me and my buddies here, three days over the weekend, we had over 200 some fish. And a ton of them were on this fly. And uh, so, we did really, really well with it. So I suggest giving it a try. It's a great fly and it catches fish. If you need any of the materials, like always, find them down in the links here in the description or go to our website. Um, hey, this time of year with all the pandemic and everything going on, it's really hard to keep the, sh the shop stocked. So we may not have the materials. I'm going to do keep doing the videos even if we don't have the stuff in stock. And uh, when we get it in, it'll be listed right away. Uh, 140 denier watery olive we have until you guys order it out and uh, but 70 we can't get right now we can't get the 70 at one watery olive don't ask me why but uh that's just the way it's going with this pandemic so you know you see any of my videos i i try to only do videos of stuff we have in stock but can't always do that and then there's videos out there from you know i've been doing this for eight years so there's videos out there for stuff that we discontinued or whatever so anyways guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it and uh i hope you guys like them too and thanks for all the kind comments that you've given me over the years uh i'm gonna keep doing them and i hope you keep watching them until next time i'm sean holsinger